Bill Walsh, please think about that. Anyway, we got to be here. I don't know if she's going to hurt us. Mediterranean sports. What are Mediterranean sports? In a very short time, we observed a uh, very high rainfall volume. Uh, See, in uh, we observe millimeter per hour of rainfall and diffuse this kind of balance. We integrate meteorological information, uh, state of the saturation of the soil. Previous criticalities integrate this kind of information, then we can use the National Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology and the University of Florence that uh, um, manage the monitoring network on the uh, active volcanoes in Italy. So, uh, what happens when uh, uh, an amount of magma is rising up? Uh, uh, it's magma, it's uh, fragmented magma, blocks, uh, ash, uh, and so on. And uh, just to have a picture, you can see on that uh, poster, this, this kind of phenomenon. Uh, these clouds that are called uh, pyroclastic uh, um, flow uh, run at the velocity of more than 100 km per hour. So you have, uh, we will have to evacuate uh, the person living in the area possibly bothered by this kind of phenomenon activity on the, on the summit. Let's take a refresh. And uh, if you look at this monitor, we have the seismic signal, and uh, every one of these inputs uh, is uh, uh, connected to an explosion. So let's say that the stromboli, more or less every 10 minutes, uh, uh, make an explosion. It is very, uh, very beautiful to see. In fact, every day, especially in uh, spring, the summer, and autumn, we have lots of tourists that get to the top of the volcano to assist to this, uh, uh, to this show, let's say. And uh, so the problem is that sometimes we can have uh, some major explosion with the possible fallout of material on the path uh, where the explosion take, uh, take place. So uh, we have, uh, every day we produce a bulletin like this one that is sent to the COA, that is our operational center <laughs> on the island, and where uh, the authorized uh, guide have to go to take a look uh, at the... Uh,